we will learn that how to find the equation of the tangent and the normal and there is two objectives of this video as first we discuss about how to drive the equation of a tangent and normal to a circle at a point p and having a coordinates x1 and y1 and in that case we will take the equation of a circle which is a general equation of a circle and in the second objective we will take an example but before going to write the equation of tangent and normal we must know about that what is the tangent and what is the normal so what is the tangent a tangent to a curve and we take a curve as a circle is a line that touches the curve at only one point then this line is called a tangent and secondly what is the normal a normal to a curve and the curve take is a circle is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent to the curves so for this if we understand these two concepts by a diagram then if we have a circle and here is a center of a circle then what the tangent says that a tangent to the curve which is a circle is the line that touches the curve at only one point so if there is a tangent line which touches only one point of a circle then this line is called a tangent so if this is a tangent line and if i draw a perpendicular line to this tangent then this line is called a normal now we move to drive the equation of tangent and normal we have to find the equation of tangent and normal to the circle of equation this and at a point this point is a basically point of tangent and we have to find the we have to find the slope of tangent and if we draw a rough diagram as that if we have a circle like that then this is a tangent and this is a normal if i write it as this is tangent and this line is normal so basically we have to find the equation of these two lines so always remember one thing that slope of the curve which is a circle is basically the slope of the tangent at a point b and here is a point of the tangent which is uh, p x1 y1 so as we find out the slope of the circle the slope of the circle or a curve is the derivative of that circle or equation of a circle which was equation of a circle which is given so the equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c which is equals to 0 here it is given so we have to find the slope of the circle so we must find out the derivative of this equation so if we take a derivative with respect x 2x plus 2y and our derivative of y with respect x plus 2g and the derivative of x is 1 and plus 2f the derivative of y dy over dx and the derivative of any constant term is 0 so we are left with this term if we take the common dy over dx in these two factors so it will be 2y plus 2f and taking common of this factor dy over dx and move these two factors on this side so it will be minus 2x minus 2g if we take a common 2 then the remaining term is f y plus f with dy over dx and in a similar way we take a common minus 2 then it will be x plus g so basically our aim is to find this factor so dy over dx which is equals to minus 2 and x plus g and divide the factor with this term it will be y plus f so after cancelling the two divided by y plus f x plus g if this is the slope of a tangent now we have to find the slope of the tangent at a point p so this is the slope of tangent and at a point which is this so it will be 
minus x is replaced with x1 plus g divided by y is replaced with y1 plus f. Point formula says that y minus y1 which is equals to m x minus x1. Here the x1 and y1 are points which are given and m is the slope that we find here at these two points. So now put these values in this formula. y minus y1 because we are point which is y1 so we replace with y1 by y1 and the slope is minus x1 plus g divided by y1 plus f. We just put the values and x minus x1. Now we have to solve it to multiply this vector on both sides. So we are left with y1 plus f and a factor is y minus y1 and here minus x1 plus g multiply with x minus x1. To multiply these two factors so it will be y y1 plus f y then 1 and y1 minus f y1 and if we multiply this taking minus outside and multiply these two factors it will be x1 x minus x1 x1 and it will be plus gx and minus gx1 we just multiply these two factors here and we can write it as y y1 plus f y plus y1 square minus f y1 and here we open the minus sign to hold these terms so it will change their signs as and it will be a plus x1 square minus gx plus gx1 so y y1 plus f y and to move these two factors on this side and take these factors on this side so it will be x x x1 and plus gx and here we, as here is a negative and it will again a negative so we can write it as x1 square plus y1 square plus y1 f plus x1 g so if we add a factor so if we add this on both sides then we can write it as y y1 plus f y plus x x1 plus g x and write this term as x1 g plus y1 f plus c which is equals to add these term in this side also so it will be x1 square plus y1 square plus y1 f plus x1 g plus x1 g plus y1 f plus c then y y1 plus x x1 and if we take our common term which is f then we can write it as plus f y plus y1 and if we take a factor g on this two terms then we can write as x plus x1 plus c which is equals to as this factor is 0 as I write it as x1 square plus y1 square plus 2x1g plus 2y1f plus c because, because we are the given equation of a circle which is a given thing and this term is equals to 0 and x1 and y1 is a point which lie on a circle which is this equation so using the fact this whole term is 0 so we finally conclude that xx1 plus yy1 plus f y plus y1 plus gx plus x1 plus c which is equals to 0. Basically this is the this is a required equation of the tangent. Now to find the equation of the normal. We use a point slope formula as in this case but in this case the slope is changed. In the normal case the slope of normal which is equals to minus 1 divided by slope of tangent. So how is it 
possible that if we have a circle which is this and this is our tangent line and this is our normal line which is perpendicular to this tangent line and if we suppose that the slope of this tangent line which is we already find out is m1 and the slope of this normal line is m2 then we know that the product of these two slopes is equals to minus 1 so we can write it as m1 multiply m2 which is equals to minus 1 slope of the normal we have to find it so it will be m2 which is equals to minus 1 divided by m1 so basically we use this logic over here so we can write it as minus 1 divided by what is the slope of the tangent we already find out which is this so it will be minus x1 plus g and divide the whole factor with y1 plus f. So we can write it as y1 plus f divided by x1 plus g. So we find the slope. Now it's time to put this slope and a point which is x1 y1 into point slope formula. A y minus y1 which is equals to the slope of in a normal case it will be y1 plus f divided by x1 plus g and here is x minus x1 so if multiply this factor on both sides so we will get y minus y1 into x1 plus g which is equals to y1 plus f and multiply with x minus x1 and this is the final equation. So this is the required equation of a normal. So here is an example that the equation of a circle is given and we have to find the equation of a tangent and normal at a point 1, 10 by 3. So to follow these steps, first of all we have to find the slope. And, and how to find the slope just to take a derivative with respect x of a given equation. Taking derivative with respect x on both sides with this equation so it will be 3 2x plus 3 into 2y and again derivative of y with respect x minus 13 dy over dx and so you will skip this term so it will be plus 5 and the constant and the derivative of any constant is 0. So it will be 0 and equals to 0. Now we have to simplify this factor. It will be 6x plus 6y dy over dx minus 13 dy divided by dx plus 5 which is equal to 0. And what we do in the next step just to take common of dy over dx in these two terms. So it will be 6y minus 13 with dy over dx which is equals to if we take these both these terms on other side so it will be minus we take common as so 6x plus 5 now we have to compute this factor so if we divide it on both sides so it will be like that 6y minus 13 so basically we have to find the slope of tangent now to find the slope of the tangent at a point which is a point is given. So we have to find now dy over dx at a point 1, 10 over 3 which is equals to. So now just put the value of x and y in this form. So we will get 6 and 1 plus 5. And divided by 6, 10 divided by 3 minus 13. So if we simplify this vector, it will be 6 plus 5 and divided by it will be 20 minus 13 so minus 11 over 7 so we have to find point slope formula so what the point slope formula says that y minus y1 which is equals to m x minus x1 as we already discussed that these two are the points which are given and this is a slope that we find it so as we find the slope which is minus 11 over 7 and a point which is x1 y1 is equals to 1 10 over 3. So we just put these two values in this equation. So it will be y minus 10 divided by 3 
which is equals to what is the slope minus 11 over 7 and x minus 1 so now just to simplify this factor so it will be 7y minus 70 divided by 3 and it will be minus 11x minus 1 so in the next step it will be 21y minus 70 which is equals to minus 33x minus 1 and in further step it will be 21y minus 70 plus 33x minus 33 which is equals to 0 so if we solve it the left equation is 21y plus 33x minus 103 which is equals to 0 and this is the equation of tangent now to find the equation of the normal so what we said that we already discussed how to find the slope of the equal normal so the slope of normal that we already discussed is that minus 1 divided by the slope of the tangent which is equals to minus 11 divided by 7 so it will be 7 divided by 11 now it's time to just put this value in the point slope formula so it will be y minus 10 divided by 3 which is equals to now the slope is 7 by 11 and it will be x minus 1 now just to multiply these factors it will be 11y minus 1 1 0 divided by 3 which is equals to 7x minus 1 33y minus 1 1 0 which is equals to 21x minus 1 and to solve further 33y minus 1 1 0 which is equals 21x minus 21 now to solve it it will be 33y minus 21x minus 110 plus 21 which is equals to 0 and after this it will be minus 21x minus 89 which is equals to 0 and this is a final equation so it is a required equation of the normal so it's all about today's lecture that how to find the equation of tangent and normal and just to follow these steps you can find equation of tangent and normal to any equation of a circle at any point then if you like this then don't forget to subscribe like comment and share